just get right into it and ask that our guest speaker, Rick Cooper, come and talk to us and tell us all about Twitter. And you can just run the meeting now. Okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome. My name is Rick Cooper and I'm the attraction marketing expert. I work with small business owners and help them to attract their ideal clients. And what I'm going to talk to you about today is how to leverage Twitter as a tool to grow your business. So I'll be talking about uh, social media, social networking, and get into Twitter specifically. That's kind of the, the, um, the site that we'll use as an example today. I'll draw some comparisons between some of the other sites that are out there. We'll talk a little bit about Facebook, LinkedIn, Fast Pitch Networking, a few other sites out there. But the main focus is going to be around Twitter and how to leverage that as a tool in your business. I have... Um, First of all, how many of you would like to attract more of your ideal clients? By show of hands. I just want to not put my hand just <laughs> just a bit contrarian. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I have two outcomes for my presentation today. One, I'm going to share a lot of great information with you about how to, le how to leverage Twitter and social networking sites in your business. And second, I'm going to share some details about one of my programs at the end of the presentation, and I'll share all the details at the end on that. So, first of all, let's talk about um, Let's talk about social media in general. We'll start at the big picture and then move into Twitter. Social media and social networking is very similar to networking in person, going out to uh, business mixers, going out to events, making connections, meeting people. The difference is that you're not doing it face-to-face -face with people. You're going out to the Internet. You are looking at someone's profile and a picture of who they are. You're, you're making a connection through email, you're posting information on, on your page, on their page, and what you're trying to do is um, a couple things. One is to identify people who would be you know, prospective clients who would want to work with you. Secondly, to identify alliance partners that you can work with uh, to be able to help to grow your business. And also just plant seeds for the future. Uh, put information out there. And there are things that you can do that will ultimately send people back to your website or to your blog or to other tools which will ultimately be able to help you capture a lead that you can follow up from a sales standpoint. The, one of the challenges though with social media is making sure that you don't spam people, that you don't over promote yourself because there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of kind of customs and rituals and, and uh, people have a different perspective of how to use social networking sites and, and, and Twitter has some very unique things that we'll talk about. And so you have to be careful not to over-promote yourself. And so again, a lot of the focus around social media and so, social networking is on sharing information. It's connecting with people one-on-one -on -one and developing relationships. And one of, the, one of the opportunities is really to take a relationship from the online world and move it into the offline world. And so you can move from the social networking world to email and then ultimately to a phone call and then perhaps from there even into a face-to-face -face meeting if on a local basis. There's a couple other benefits to social networking that we'll talk about. One is that uh, it's great when you're networking in the local community because it helps to reinforce the relationships. Because oftentimes you'll meet someone at a business mix or at an event, you'll make the connection one time, but the connection doesn't really get established. Uh, we're all you know, making connections, meeting people all the time, so with social networking, it allows you to, to connect with them and stay connected over time so that it creates more of a conversation between you. The other thing is it creates more of an opportunity to really get to know someone because when you're meeting someone personally, you know, it, it's funny, but oftentimes in the real world, um, we're a little bit more private and guarded about our information, whereas on the online world, we tend to open the doors a little bit more and share. So we'll talk about some of the ways that... Um, you can uh, make use of that strategy to be able to get to know people better and also to be able to help them because part of knowing more about them is the responsibility to make sure that you have an opportunity to look for ways that you can partner together, that you can help them, that you can create value for them. So some of the things we're going to talk about are Twitter basics. So if you've never used Twitter, if you haven't set up an account, we'll, we'll focus on some of the basics of what it is, we'll define it, we'll walk through what you actually have to do to set it up and get started. We'll talk about building a following, and this is one of the things that's unique about Twitter. Uh, most sites, you invite, or you would send a request and say, can I connect with you? And you would send an invitation, so Facebook and LinkedIn are like that. 
Whereas on Twitter, it's the exact opposite. Instead of people asking to connect with you, they actually can just start following you. <laughs> and in fact, yeah. I get a lot of I get a lot of feedback from yeah. from people who say, you know, I, I set up a Twitter account and now I've got 20 people following me. What? Are, what? Are, where are they following yeah, me? <laughs> I'm not going anywhere yet. Exactly. I'm not going anywhere yet. Right. That's right. You know, what's my responsibility? What do I need to do? So we'll talk about that concept and how to. Uh, how uh, you can use that in your favor and, and, and also what that means. Third, we'll talk about what to post because uh, with any social networking or social media site you have the opportunity to be able to share information. Each site works a little bit differently. One of the unique characteristics of Twitter is that you're limited to posting only 140 characters at a time, which is about 20 to 25 words. It's considered uh, a microblog, so whereas a blog you could post a lot of information, on a microblog you're really limited and one of the reasons that is is because a lot of people use Twitter in conjunction with their mobile devices, you know, their PDA, their smartphone, and so they can receive the post through SMS messaging, which is limited to 140 characters. You don't necessarily need to set it up to your PDA or smartphone to, to be able to leverage it as a tool. And there are actually some other tools that you can use online beyond just going out and posting on the Twitter website. So we'll talk a little bit about that as well. In fact, there's probably so many out there that you yeah. can end up spending way too much time <laughs> to the point that you're, you're not really you know, getting a return on your investment because even though social networking sites are free, what happens is you're investing your time and time is money. So you have to make sure that you're investing your time wisely. We'll also talk about how to build relationships on Twitter. So we'll get into some of the etiquette, how you approach people, what are the, you know, why would you want to connect with them, what you should post publicly versus what you should connect with them and share privately. We'll talk about strategies to go viral. So if you've all heard of viral marketing, which is essentially you know, getting information out on the internet that then begins to multiply out there and starts to send traffic your way on the internet. So we'll talk about some tips to be able to use that uh, on Twitter. The other thing is we'll talk about how to generate leads. Because uh, if you are looking to establish client relationships, if you're looking to grow your business, if you're looking to make sales, ultimately you're, you're looking for opportunities to be able to use social media and social networking to be able to use it from a business standpoint so that it makes your cash register ring. So we'll talk about some tips to be able to do that.